where burnout comes from. It turns out when it comes to burnout, we often think about the symptoms being related to feeling depleted, not being motivated, not having energy, wanting to stay in bed, uh, things of that kind of caliber. However, it pays to understand where the source of burnout comes from in the first place because then you can impact it more positively. It turns out there are two expert opinions when it comes to this. And they are very interesting. Number one is Herbert Freudenberger, who's known as the founding father of burnout. He fled Nazi Germany as a child of his family. He came to New York City. He started his own psych, psych, his practice as a psychologist. And he actually burned out. And he coined the phrase burnout. And he found it as burnout is a response to stress. He was working wild, crazy kind of hours in both the Bowery and the Upper East Side of Manhattan. And he burned out, found out. He, he couldn't get out of bed one morning. It wasn't exactly exhaustion, but it wasn't exactly just based on his energy. He just didn't feel like continuing to do the job he had. And what he determined was that burnout was a response to stress and a response to trying to be too perfect in the career and job he had. So it's really an internal response to something external. The next point of view is from Christina Macklock, who came up with the, with the Macklock burnout inventory. And her quote is that work conditions are either a great place or one that beats the hell out of you. In other words, burnout is a response to your work environment. Now, the good news is no matter which point of view you buy into, you can do something today. That's right. Take your first step by understanding, hey, I'm feeling a little bit of, of burnout or I'm feeling a lot of burnout. Right? Acknowledge that and then start to make tiny changes. So if you feel like yours is more related to stress from the job itself, then you can start to put a little white space in your day, take some more breaks, put a little distance between you and the job you have to see if that can re-nourish and recreate you and get you re-energized. Or if you're in a very difficult work environment, it's time to start thinking about how you can impose your will on the job and the work environment than just allowing it to continue to impose its will on you. So make some tiny tweaks and modifications. Maybe it's you're going to move, relocate your desk to somewhere. Maybe it's you're going to you're going to talk about working from home a day or two a week. Or maybe uh, you need to look at a different role inside your organization to start to sort of recreate the workplace environment that you're within today. And that can put you on the road to conquering burnout.